Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Professor Layton and the Unwound Future. This probably won't be all that long of a video because we are right at the end of Chapter 5. Well, close to the end anyway. So, let's find out exactly what it was Layton uncovered by going through all those documents, huh? That file yielded some very valuable information, Luke. What exactly did you find out, Professor? Let's just say I'm very confident the Prime Minister's still alive. However, the only way to save him is to travel to the other London, where he's being held. You think he might be trapped in the future? Perhaps. Let's bring this discussion to the Inspector. And we need to do pretty much just that. Since, you know, we did make a promise to the Professor, even though we made a promise to Flora that we wouldn't abandon her and we did anyway. Let's at least keep one of our promises, huh? Well, Leighton, did your investigation bear any fruit? It did indeed. To start, allow me a few questions. Inspector, were you involved in the investigation to the explosion at the Institute ten years ago? Yes, I was there. Ages ago, it was. I remember I'd just been promoted to an assistant inspector. I see. And do you remember the names of the scientists thought to have caused the explosion? Let me think. Ah, it's coming back to me now. One man's name was Allen. Dimitri Allen. Weren't there two scientists implicated? Do you remember the second scientist's name? It was quite a long time ago, you know. I see you're having some difficulty remembering. Well then, what about the victims? Do you remember much about them? The explosion caused substantial damage to the area and destroyed the neighboring apartment complex. One of the lab assistants perished in the explosion, as did several tenants in the building next door. Strangely enough though, I think both of the experiments involved both of the scientists involved in the experiment survived. That was very informative, Professor. Good, because I got a few questions of my own now. How do you think this old case relates to my current one? This is just a theory, but I think the Prime Minister is being held somewhere beyond the influence of Scotland Yard. Do you mean to say he's being held captive in another country? You may find what I'm about to tell you hard to believe, but I think Bill Hawks is being held captive in the future. If this is your idea of a joke, I'm not laughing. I can understand your skepticism. Thank you for all your help today, Inspector. Should I learn anything else about the Prime Minister's whereabouts, you will be among the first to know. Come, Luke, let's be off. No, wait right there. We had a deal. Surely you've got more for me than that far-fetched theory. Inspector, I told you as much as I know at the moment. Now please, excuse us. However, we can try to talk to him, but he's just going to yell at us more. Eh, thankfully, we don't have to deal with a T minigame. And we leave. Now that we got what we came for, let's go back to the clock shop. Cog's waiting for us. Okay, Professor. And... We need to go to Midland Road. And let's see here. And somebody has another puzzle for us, I believe. Yes, he does. Ah, it's you again. Where are you heading now, small fry? I can't say. It's a secret. Well, I was going to offer you a puzzle, but you look but you look like you're in a hurry, so forget about it. What's that? You got a puzzle that needs solving. Woohoo, I got your attention now, don't I? Indeed you do. Puzzle number 52, the checkerboard, worth 30 points. 
There are three sheets of transparent plastic with different patterns painted on them. If you layer them correctly, a checkerboard pattern appears. The, layer, the order which you layer them is important, and you can't flip or rotate sheets. Which sheet goes on the very bottom? A, B, or C? Now well, let's see. Obviously, since we're looking to make, you know, interlocking red or a green and uh, blue or green, yellow and blue squares to make this checkerboard, and the piece that goes on top is going to cover everything, the piece on top cannot have any uh, squares of the same color touching each other, like that or that. So we know C goes on top, so we know it's between A or B at the bottom. So let's see here. If we look, if we have to divide this between A and B, which one of these two needs to go on top, right here, the bottom row of this is going to be a pretty big key for us. We know this square is taken care of, but we need also have a blue square right here on top. So A would be on top of B. So B is in the middle, or not in the middle, it's on the bottom. Hmm, how about this? No puzzle can stop Layton's Apprentice. B goes on the very bottom, and the other sheets are layered in the order pictured above. Splendiferous job! So, now with that, now it's time to approach the clock shop. I suppose we have to head back to future London now, huh? What's the matter, Luke? Are you scared of traveling through time again? Yes, I mean no. As long as I don't have to do it alone. Of course not. I'll be right here with you. First on the agenda is heading to Chinatown to meet the future Professor Layton, right? That's right, and if my guess is correct, we'll find the Prime Minister there as well. Do you think we'll run into trouble along the way? Considering the warm welcome received at the family at the casino, I'd say anything's possible. Luke, there's no telling what kind of dangers await us in the future. Maybe it would be best for you to remain here in our time. What kind of an apprentice would I be if I left you to face danger all alone? Of course I'm going to! And I told you that would be kind of a short little ch uh, video. So when we return, we begin Chapter 6. Take care, folks. See you next time.